This Week in Gaming History. Whoa! Look at Jack this. Jack and Daxter. It's Jack and Daxter. There's other people playing Jack and Daxter, apparently, too. Good for them. Yeah, that's weird. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father... Oh, we, got, we can hear it through your... Oh, I should turn it Who down. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness... Oh, this game had good voice acting for the time. The world? What was oh. their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, Crazy. but the rocks do not recall. talks to the plants, just like us. Even the rocks do not recall. Ooh. But the rocks don't remember. Every bone in my body tells me that the, the rocks ever do. on the shoulders of a young boy. Whoa, there was a crazy oh, shadow underneath him. <laughs> Who's that dumb kid? That's Daxter. And rejecting Fuck off. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, this game sucks. I want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway. I'm only the master of green ego. One of the wisest men on the planet. Oh yeah, there's a weird thing happening with the shadows of this emulator. Yeah. So it seems the answer begins not with careful cool. research. It kind of does. It's it's a neat effect. It looks like some yeah. weird like world where shadows are like, like As with many of way thicker. Yeah. But only shadows off of people. Like hang off of you. Disobedience. Yeah. Like a cape. I would never turn Daxter back into a human. <laughs> I guess they're not humans in the first place, are they? I don't know. I think, it's, yeah, I guess not. Yeah, they're like elf things. Troll elves. Continue your search for artifacts, Nico. If the locals possess uh, the precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Time says it's Dak and Jaxter. She forgot this was a Naughty oh. Dog game. That's right, yeah. Is Daxter a real name? Like, are there people named that out there? Or did, is that made up for this? Jack? This place gives me I don't the know. creeps. Good question. It's a horrible name. <laughs> So I don't think I'm insulting anyone saying Daxter's uh -huh. a name for dummies. Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? <laughs> it shows dark ooze. Friendly. <gasps> See, he was the comic the relief. Yaps on about the like precursors a, that build like this place all character. the time. Is there a part of every game where they're mad at each other and it's just Jack by himself? I, I don't think so. I, don't know. Oh. I barely remember this game. Though. I, I, I beat it when it first came out, which was yeah. December 3rd, 2001. So over 20 years ago. Yeah, the only one of these I played was the Ratchet game. I didn't do Jack or Sly. Oh, yeah, I have Sony's PS2 mascot. Yeah. Games. Yeah. yeah. Ratchet was the only one I didn't do. I played Sly huh. Cooper in this. And then I played I Sly Cooper 2, but I never beat it. And then what? that was it. I didn't play any. Oh! Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. You look so much better. Great animation for a PS2 game. Yeah, totally. It was Whoa. even what at this point. What green donation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Yeah, this way, Naughty Dog was known wisdom, for its technological. The walking around in the only place uh, that I told you not to go, talent. Misty Island. That's right. And then and Daxter. This was at the time. But in a bath really impressive with technology. Dark eco. Oh, man. Still it looks fine. It does. Like the animation is super smooth. Because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, 
So this is like a year after the launch of PS2, roughly. There's only one yeah, person that's crazy. who has studied Dark Eco yeah. long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage, but he lives far to the I don't north. even really know what this far, game is. Is it a black? To the north. Yeah, it's like a Nobody has uh, spoken to him in ages. It's like a Mario 64. Yeah, exactly. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. Got the, the only other way north is by foot through the fire Everyone's canyon, got really but its weird glasses. Soil is hot enough to melt precursor <laughs> metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Daddy. That might work. But where are a boy and a half? Going to get 20 He's a ham. Cells. From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed yeah, away totally. somewhere. And even if they I aren't willing mean, to just give them away, greasing their palms really. with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. I think the and second and third had a bit more, more like gunplay. Just waiting the third they introduced for some brave adventure to find. Right, and then there was a racing the game after that. Yeah, yeah Jack X. Brave yeah. adventurer. That was always their thing. Crash one, two, three, crash two with racing. Jack one, two, three, Jack racing. Yeah. You better go through the wall. Uncharted one, two, three. <laughs> they didn't feel like they could. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey stuff. Last of Us is kind of an Uncharted racing. Because I hate to fall in again and turn into you. <laughs> what? In there, it's sort of like an Uncharted racing game. What is The Last of Us? The Last of Us. <laughs> There's no driving The Last of Us. You for sure drive a horse and... Not really. There's you more driving in Uncharted. That's true. There's like whole driving sections. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice anytime during your quest. There's nothing in these chests? What? Oh yeah. There's coins. That are similar color to the grass. <laughs> Uh, Already, okay. you can tell the you know this is by the people who made Crash Bandicoot. Oh yeah, very cartoony. Especially just with the spin. <laughs> yeah, totally. And the way the boxes break. Uh, it's actually uh, often credited as one of the first games with no loading screens, with players able to traverse from the starting location to the final battle. And all interconnected oh. levels in between without breaking away from the gameplay. That's what I'm gonna do, just watch. Many critics agreed it had the, some of the best looking <laughs> graphics at the time. Yeah, it looks good. It feels floaty in its play. But that's kind of most 3D platformers that aren't Mario. Totally. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Man. Once in a while, I want to get it really good, but yeah, yeah, it's super tough. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer. Because the PS2 was a new console, they wanted to make a brand new character and not continue the fra the Crash franchise. They pitched an uh, idea to Sonic Entertainment uh, and had a little animation engine with a character they called Boxman. And through that, eventually they put like a Jack and Daxter skin on it. This game would have been way better if it was Boxman. Totally. The box man and Daxter. Wow, it's even got crates like Crash. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, Apparently, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it hands first. There's 40 minutes of animation in the game that required six full-time animators and four support animators. In some cases from outside of the video game industry like companies like Disney and Nickelodeon. Like not very many animators compared to how That's many a game would have nowadays. Oh, yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. At the time, it was probably a lot. Allow you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts. It's weird how, like, 
This also just feels like a Crash game. It also feels like a Spyro game. Like, all these games kind of feel the same. Totally. The PlayStation platformer. Yeah. Sly yeah. has a similar feeling, for sure. Yeah. And then, like, you can feel the things that would become Uncharted in here, whereas, like, with Sly, you can feel the things that would become infamous, where you, like, stick to buildings and stuff. It's true. And, like, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, you they can all kind of have. Evolve, but they all... The yeah. same framework. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They all kind of went off in there. The game was in development for almost three years. Uh, engine tweaks allowed Jack and X to have no loading times, like I said, or fogging. I remember that was a big deal. Fogging? Yeah, so no, no, uh... Um, uh, what would you call it? Like, level fog to obscure loading. Oh, I see. What's that called? There's a word for that. Uh, fog of War? No. I feel like obscure loading screens. Uh, I don't know. What is this thing I've got? I want electricity. Like the classic one is Silent Hill. Distance, uh, yeah. Ooh, it looks like an elevator. Or, uh, yeah. Door in Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, just so that, like, you know, or like Grand Theft Auto, of course, you know, you, you couldn't see the mountain in the background, it was just a fog. Yeah. This game, I remember specifically, it was probably on Electric Playground, actually. I remember hearing people from Naughty Dog talk about how you could, like, see a mountain in the distance that, and you go there eventually. I think I'm gonna go to these mountains that I see. No. Well, maybe, maybe this maybe, Yeah, exactly. Maybe that waterfall. Yeah, like, may, maybe that one. Yeah, I remember that being a big deal. Is a precursor door. It can only I, that's, be it sounds like the what the modern day thing was with the new Ratchet on PS5, where you can go body. between worlds with no loading. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I still really want to check that out, too, actually. Yeah. Just to see what that's like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that aspect of it does look impressive. Yeah. They're just um, so... Just like, they're so dime a dozen feeling. More yeah, exactly. Than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum of time. Uh, I want to see... Originally, there was going to be a third main character that would develop as the game was played in a Tamagotchi style. <laughs> that is weird. I like that idea, actually. There are no subtitles available. Fuck, what have I done? Ugh! What did you do? I accidentally loaded my save. Here. Oh, no. <laughs> um, they were ready. Because... Basically, as they released this, they were ready to make a sequel as long as the first did well enough. And right. the game did sell pretty well, so they like immediately started on Jack 2. Released. And I believe Jack 2 and what? 3 came out in like the same year. That's crazy. So like, were the Crash games also really close together? Good question. Yeah. Probably. I like mean, there, there was what, three, three of them plus Crash Team Racing in the, in the lifespan of the PlayStation. Yeah. Oh, well, on PS3, they got Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and Last, Last of, of Us. Us. Yeah, exactly. And didn't Last of Us 2 come out on PS4 as well? Or no, PS3? No, it didn't. No, it definitely no. didn't. That's crazy. That's, yeah. Well, I guess it was... No, never mind. They didn't come out the same year, but they came out like a year... Okay. Gotta get about time for Christmas each year. Like Zach 2 took a little bit longer to come out. Like a couple yeah. years, but then they turned Jack 3 out in like yeah, one year. I mean I guess when they're all quite similar playing games. Yeah, and you get the engine built. Yeah. Yep. You just have to update the way the like the lighting models because they became grittier looking, but Yeah. It was sort of the same thing again. 
All right, we're back where I was before I buffooned it up. This vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Do I, like, hover? What's the... Why would they give this to me here? Huh. Uh, a Flash game was developed and released in 2001 to promote the game. Weird. Which was restored and made playable by archivists. Oh, that's cool. So apparently it's good work. work. The blue eco caused the door to open. Those good old With archivists. Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of places. It's one of those weird things where that's like... No one's getting paid to do all this video game archiving, and it's hard fucking work. No, oh, yeah, I know, but they, they, it's, they do it because the studios don't seem to give a shit. No, and the, the things part. are just going to straight up disappear. Yeah, exactly. Just lost forever. But it's kind of insane, the things that they've been able to make sure don't disappear it's, as well. It's true. Right. Like, like, the, yeah. the work pays off. Totally. <laughs> be a, yeah. Fun to do. Money doing it. <laughs> if it was a job, it'd be a fun job. Yeah. Problem is, it's uh, you can't really make money on it because it's based in piracy. I guess it depends. Yeah. Like um. Who's gonna pay you to do it? You got like, archive. Yeah. Archive. Archive's a weird thing because that is like a company that people work for. Right. Like they have, it's a, they have actually a really cool podcast about archiving games and stuff. Yeah, and they do like t books and stuff too, and like yeah, oh yeah, they do everything. websites. And... If you can upload it, you can jump find a way. And jump again in the air to it's a hard site to navigate though. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. To find the because it's got it really does have everything on it. Yeah, you just have to know how to look. Yeah, exactly. These, uh, suck. Every time I collect one of them, it takes way too long. <laughs> the Mario Star animation has it gotta really have It really is. Everything's gotta have it. That's how Nintendo did it. Um, 90 out of 100 on Metacritic. Oh, got great yeah. reviews. Yeah, it feels like a 90. People love it. Um, although, it was good training, boys. But that's nothing um, compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And no problem. We get the moon. Not again. the best. We love to stay in uh, Banjo Kazooie's platformer released that year. Well, uh, what was? Fine, Conquer's fine. Bad Fur Day. Adventure. That is, I, I. I call BS on that. That got a 92 out of 100 on Metacritic. Interesting. <laughs> It'd be fun to just play through all of the 3D platformers. Oh, I'd be all over see that. How, see how they stack up, actually. Absolutely. Like, because, like, Sphinx, I remember everyone was like, it's actually weirdly great. And right. Voodoo Vince and, like... Yep. There was, like, stuff. Toxic Trouble wasn't bad. Yeah. There's I bet there's some that, that are, like, actually way up there that you would never expect. <laughs> totally. And one of them is not Conker's Bad Fur Day. Look, it's fucking Audrey. Oh yeah, looks friendly. Some brave adventurers you two are. Tiny loves Conker's Bad Fur Day. It's not for kids though. That's the thing. I haven't actually. I've never gotten that far into Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't. I don't really know. That it's so edgy. That it's better or worse than this. Uh, this is the furthest I've ever played in this, so what am I? I I'm really talking from this. No, no. Uh. It was the best selling Jack and Daxter game. It sold. About 1.7 million copies. Wow. 17th best selling game on the PS2. What is the number one best selling PS2 game? Good question. My guess would be GTA 3. Or is it Gran Turismo 4? 
that was a pack in. Dude, that skews a lot of things. It's true. Let's see. Did you see the size? It's, of it's the not going to be either of the ones we said. I bet. Are you pretty close? San Andreas. Yeah, you got it. Oh yeah. Okay. And then Gran Turismo three. Two. Wow, I was almost one two. Yeah. Four is is three. Interesting. That's cool. It's interesting. I thought three stay. I thought three GTA three sold more overall, but it was not. Because uh, GTA wasn't huge when three came out. Three is what made it huge. That's what exactly. I remember it being like on the li best sellers list for like, ever because it because people would just discover like more people would discover it at, like yeah as the months went by. When four came out or, or yeah when. Not four. My city came out. That was the one when everyone was like, "Okay, we're just buying it." Yeah, and that's four. Oh, don't right. tell me that you. And San Andreas is like number one by a good like three million. Now this. Oh yeah, that's a great game. I see them. I see how the great game that I've. Conquered that references Clockwork Orange. That's fun. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. I've also only ever beaten San Andreas once. Everyone's too frightened to go. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Me too, but I put a lot of time in San Andreas. Yeah. Outside of just beating Just doing. It. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Just fucking around. Now look. Totally. If you so it feels like I like beam, I probably put give you a whole other playthrough's oh, worth of time. And, and another into it. thing, yeah. If by any chance, it's where, it's, the, it's sort of the Rockstar thing where like to my I, we put a whole other playthrough's game, time into I Red Dead Two. Yeah, totally. And yeah, plus that whole game, and I'll never play that game again. I don't. Think. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's such a like you, you soak it all up the first time. Yeah, totally. Interesting, it's a fishing mini game, and it's possible to play a harder version of it by inputting a secret code in front of the fisherman. And that secret was only found 20 years after the game's release. Fishing. The, the most devilish of secrets. <laughs> I don't get double jump when I'm in this person's house. That's weird. Well, hello there, Why does everyone? Okay, so there's something going on in this world where everyone has one eye that's all messed up. Oh yeah, weird. But yeah. I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orb. Interesting. I would have pledged Also, cufflinks and cuffs with them. no sleeves. But I gather that <laughs> your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Uh. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I, you, you a power set. I remember they always had a lot of unlockables in these games. I bet for beating this game you can play with Stephen Daxter or something silly. Hmm. I'll take a look. Oh, that fly, that Audrey that's in that guy's... Uh, oh, yeah? That's a Venus flytrap enemy from Crash Bandicoot. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah. That's fun. Um, there's a bad guy, I guess, in this game. Okay. Who is voiced by D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope he looks a little bit like D. Snyder. <laughs> I don't know. We might have seen him already. You remember one of those guys like talking to the like horde of goblins at the beginning? Oh yeah. Hey. Little furry dude! Oh, well, maybe not. I guess he's the dark sage. I for a moment he's the you were my muse. Yarr, big bad what? guy. Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. This is a little bit too as much running fact, around talking to people for my liking. I just can't scope. It was definitely, I mean, big on the. 
Yeah, animation and like voice acting. Oh yeah, this is where they spent their money. Yeah. Dude, I mean, Naughty Dog's always kind of been interested in making like cinematic games. I just hope she's all right. Yeah, especially now. you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back. To miss the island. Although, I think they kind of got started with that on this, because I can't mm. remember Crash having any cinematic crawl. Oh, yeah, that's, I guess, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, that's true, yeah. But this does feel like a Pixar type. Like, they're like, whoa. Yeah. Like, yeah, it shows... the like, really expressive faces. And, yeah, exactly. They're interested in making, like, a, yeah. Two PSP games? There was Daxter, I know that. Yeah. What else was there? Alright! Treasure! Uh, there was a game called The Lost Frontier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually I thought I almost downloaded that instead of this. I, it's just called Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier. Like it. Right. And this has a subtitle, too. Yeah. Which makes it sound like a sequel or something. Oh. But all the sequels, except for that one, I think, had, had just Jack. It was just Jack 2 and Jack 3 oh, yeah. and Daxter. And then that other PSP one was back to Jack and Daxter. Why won't you shoot them at me? Come on! What the hell? They were coming at me when I wasn't running through this way. Okay, I give up. This is no longer a hundred percent play. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! Gosh, Daxter sucks. Yeah. Though I do want to kick some big bird butt. This world actually reminds me a lot of the broken world in bug snacks. Just in the way it looks and the way it sort of flows together between areas. Obviously it's way before bug snacks. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, I'm dead! Ah. I was right behind you, Jack! Really? I was. Oh, There's, man. um, a cheat mode. Let me try that. Uh, how complicated is it? Because I have to enter it on a controller that's not a native controller. Mm. Pretty simple. Okay, I can try to do it. Uh, you can see here in the pause menu, apparently. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. I don't necessarily find I need cheats. It's interesting. It's in. Uh, all, uh, one unlocks all warp gate destinations, but it doesn't seem like. I don't know. Hmm. All levels and tasks available. So it just makes all. unlocks all levels, I guess. I don't even know how to get between levels. Yeah, so it doesn't really give you, like. A, yeah. If I knew how to show off the game, it would probably be good. Yeah, like I was hoping it'd be one that would give you a power or something. Oh, one is spawn the zoomer or plut plut. I don't know what those are. Plut plut. Uh, how do I, how, this sound uh, like vehicles. I can summon a flut plut. Okay, you need to go. You need to hold down L three. Okay. And press. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, X, X, square, circle, square, circle.
Oh, that made a sound. So then if you kind of go back to the game and press L3. No, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. No, no blood, blood for us to I don't even know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of pleasing sounds while I was entering that code, actually. It's true. It did say it would yeah. make like a ding sound when you got it right, and that sound. Interesting. I might have, I just. I don't know. Oh wow, you're really killing these animals. You see the like ghosts come out of them. <laughs> That's fantastic. Kill them so hard the ghosts come out. Yeah. And these look like Pikmin things. Yeah, totally. Oh! Oh! Pikmin. Yeah, give me Pikmin. I kind of wish there were no cutscenes and this was a game where you just had to fart around and figure things out, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I started playing Proteus on my Steam Deck. The, nice. the, the yeah, the, the weird. Oh, the, Proteus. Like, <laughs> the not the shooter. Not the, Proteus. The weird. Proteus. Oh, Proteus. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. The weird like Atari graphics first-person shooter that yeah. nothing really happened. Yeah. Did you not beat it though? So I took me like an hour to beat it. I only played for about 20 minutes. Oh yeah. It's just, it's so cool. To it's a stay. wild, I, I had a wild experience that game. Like it's, right. Because you just like spot things and just go wander off looking at them. Yeah, it's amazing how it like guides you and like makes you feel like, you feel like there's no yeah. game at all, but then at the same time you feel like you're being guided. Totally. Yeah. Man, I... It's really uh, random, isn't it? I don't know. That's a good question. I had a very unique so. experience. It felt very unique. Interesting. It was like there was this one moment I couldn't figure out what to do at all, and I just wandered onto this hill, and there was this freaky statue. And then the sky went red, and the stars went black. Oh, my God. And then like, all these other statues showed up, and it's like, yeah, it gets crazy. That is nuts. Punch those poles up from below. And like the end cool. is really cool too. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna spoil it. I got punch these poles up from below. Hmm. Like I have whatever. Oh, those are just collectibles. Okay. Oh, we get to do Taki... Takimaki. Oh yeah, we totally can. Yeah, Alright, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna have to close Discord in order to do it. Cool. Well, I'll just go to a transition here. One second. Nice. All right.
We're back. We're back. Welcome to Tokameki. I see. I don't know. I don't like Tokameki High. I know it as Tokameki Memorial in my mind. Oh. Uh, is my controller not working on it? Oh, I might not have. There we go. I wasn't. So I hadn't selected. I accidentally before. turned you up there. Hopefully, you're at a decent back to normal volume. I don't know. Does anyone want to name our person? Tiny's excited for this. This is I a think translation. we're a boy person, right? Hmm? We're, we play as a boy in this, right? Yeah, who loves Nakayami yeah. Miho. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what that boy would be named. Like... Oh. 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 It really is sensitive with taking these inputs. Jeez. There we go. We are Nacho Man. Nacho Man. Not yeah. Nacho, Nacho Man, man. loves Nakamahi Miho. Nakamaki it's so Miho weird loves... playing a Nintendo game with load screens. Nacho Man, totally. This is Tokumeki High School. Your dad relocated for a job, so this is my first day. Whoa, you're the new guy. Uh, Nacho Man, what kind of school life awaits me? Oh, Only one way, one way to find out. That's how he talks. Oh, check out that grin. Yeah, he ran, he just like sprinted into the school. Okay, I had to figure out. Oh, okay, switch it. This, uh, this is where you say head. control B? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that worked on the Famicom. Whoa! <laughs> His fat head. He's having, he's having an allergic reaction. This is fat head? <laughs> Classes are over for the day. Yeah, this is, yeah. I think you're the oddball fat head. <laughs> Who even transfers this time of year? Yeah, didn't you hear my dad got transferred for work? The name's Sadakichi Yamamura. Us guys gotta stick together. Oh, he's like a men's rights activist? <laughs> Gross. No, he's just like a bro. Okay. Uh, well, we actually don't know yet. We haven't really got well, to true. know. Uh, he just seems like, sounds like a bro to me. Oh, weird. Okay, cool. There's nothing Not unusual there. Usual. I know. She looks suspicious, though. I, like... It's a Miho Nakayama phone card. Whoa. It was in Fathead's face? Four. He's a nice guy. His head is huge, though. <laughs> uh, okay, same thing. Hey, that's a Miho phone card, right? I have the same one. Wouldn't a Tokimeki High School one be nice, too? You're a Miho fan too, eh? Hey, did you know they made a Miho phone service? What? The number is... Call oh, this. Oh, what? I don't know how to call that kind of phone number. Oh, damn. I would if I did know I how, to hear Nakayama Miho. So that was a real thing. You could call that. Is it, am I supposed to be listening to something now, I think? That's uh, why yeah, there's like, you're, you're I can't... talking in the phone service. Right. I can't seem to advance anything. I think it just waits a little while. Right. It's giving me some time to call and exactly. talk to the Miho phone service. And you spend some money, yeah. Now, the crazy thing about this game, it was, it was a dual uh, uh, production between Nintendo and Squaresoft. Weird. Like Final Fantasy. And so it was designed by Hironobu Sakaguchi, who created the Final yeah. Fantasy series, and Yoshio Sakamoto, who created the Metroid series. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> uh, and the music was composed by Nobuo Umetsu, who composed, like, the classic Final Fantasy songs. Right. Fathead doesn't like it when I touch him. <laughs> Whoa! I don't have any items. 
All right, Fathead offered to show us around the school. Oh, so let's nice. go. Oh! Ah! How? Oh no! You bumped into a girl. A girl. And it looks like her pacifier flew out. Oh no! Girl. Eek! Oh, I thought that was an exclamation point, and that's what I was. <laughs> girl. Eek. Eek. Sorry. Are you okay? Oh, loading. I wonder how many times we're gonna have to change the disc side. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and it's just weird to see a loading screen too. So sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> oh, that's it. Wow, we met. We just met her. I don't even know her name. I'm pretty careless. Fathead, you're pretty rude. You know that. <laughs> Who was that? That was Mizuho Takayama from next door. Mizuho Takayama. Uh, I think we just fell in love. I think so. Yeah. Nothing is uh, It was here. one of the, this is one of the very first dating sim games. Hmm. I don't know what the first loot is, but it's up there. Oh yes. Oh we don't. Pick it. Oh, take. Yeah, we got a bunny charm. What? Got to give it back to Takayama-san. All right. Oh, it's the Shining. Wow. Great. The, loud the loud mouse, mouse are here. here. Great. <laughs> Did, Did your heart, heart race? Did... You bumped into that girl. Into that girl. That's <laughs> scandalous. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, what was that all about? I don't know. They're Erica Shimizu's groupies. Okay. Erica Shimizu. She's the school board chairman's daughter. She's a stunning beauty, but also a piece of work. She's clearly not worth it. Oh! Who called my name? I'm Erica <laughs> Shimizu! Whoa, oh, she looks mean. <laughs> no, I just... Sadakichi is scared. Oh, wow. Look at her waggle her finger at yeah, us. She is not pleased. Should we give the other girl's bunny charm to her? Oh, yeah. No, probably. I don't, that's probably not the right move. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's you. Welcome to your first day. I'm Erica. I trust you'll remember the name. That's it? Oh, no. Come to me with any issues. I'll consult my father about them. Okay, so she wants me to be a narc. Erica likes me. Consider yourself lucky. Silence! <laughs> oh, -ho. So strict. Let's meet again sometime. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh ho ho! <laughs> oh, they all leave. Look, man, you don't want to get involved with her. Whoa. Oh, you telling me I don't want to get involved with her just makes me want to get involved with her. I wonder if you can, yeah, like, choose who you date. I, you know, I, I, I wonder. Yeah, how, how many options could there possibly be? Look, man, you don't want to get involved with her. Okay, that's all you got to tell me? Um, this was the first dating game with a Japanese idol. Miho Nakayama was a real person. A popular actress and singer in Japan during the 80s. She's on the game's cover and makes a cameo appearance in the game. Oh. I, the cover... Wow, that, can we see the cover art on stream? I can't see. Yeah, I got... Uh, it's such good cover art. Yeah, I got it displayed for people. <laughs> the yeah. girl on the phone? Yeah, that's Miho yeah. Nakayama, yeah. Crap, I was hoping we'd avoid this guy. Look at this guy, he looks like John Stamos. <laughs> oh man, what a punk. It's Asaomi Tsuji. Major creep, oh. The Square had just finished Final Fantasy, apparently. Huh. Interesting. This doesn't feel... It's Final Fantasy 1? Yeah. This game feels more advanced than Final Fantasy 1 in a lot of ways. Totally, yeah. Yeah. The 
Yeah, I love the aesthetic actually, the way it looks like a kind of like a notebook. Yeah, no, it looks great. Ha ha ha! Au revoir! Oh, I love when everyone has a creep. laugh as they leave. <laughs> Why is he getting French all of a sudden? Um, Man, what a snob! Sakamoto, the creator of Metroid, was excited to make an adventure game, but had the idea of using a real-life celebrity to make the game feel like an event. Oh. The game was developed in a two-week period. Wow! I mean, I guess the scenario is probably pretty easy to write. Yeah. And there's not a lot of variability, probably. It was the third game compatible with the disk fast the disk fax network of the disk system. Huh. It allowed the disk fax was designed to allow the transfer of digital files over a conventional telephone line. Man, the first internet gaming. Uh, it was on a blue floppy disk instead of the regular yellow Famicom floppy disks. One mod ball after another. Oh, I almost forgot I gotta return that charm. <laughs> it flipped my mind too. It's okay, she hasn't left yet. Oh, I hear a girl in this room. Oh, let's peek. You ready? I'm gonna peek. Whoa, oh my god! Peek. Wait, why are they peek. changing in the classroom? Peeping That's a toms. weird thing. Peeping toms! Molesters! Molesters. Get out of here, losers! Ow! Oh, don't ow, hit me! Ow, it ow. hurts! Let's get no. out of here! Let's get out of here! What were you two doing? Oh, Mizuho, I have your... I, I have your charm! <laughs> Change the subject. It's not letting me give it. I must have to talk to her first. Let's look. Does she look angry? She's pretty cute once you really get a good look at her. She kind of reminds you of someone, though. Oh, oh, God. Does she look like Miho? You're adopted. You were uh, estranged from your family as a child. It's your sister. Oh, no. Wow. I'm sorry. We won't do it again. <laughs> oh, forgive us. Those oh, really boys really are pigs. pigs. Oh? oh? That charm. Tiny eyes, is the game oh, ahead yeah. of its time that we can hit on all genders? <laughs> I'd say definitely not. Uh, yeah, probably not. I'd say Nintendo still isn't. Uh, uh, ahead. Oh, I expect things get fairly <laughs> not cool at points, if I had to guess. <laughs> oh, that's my charm. Thank goodness I got it back. You picked it up for me. I thought it was gone for good. This little guy is like my good luck charm. Hee hee hee. Thank you so much. Oh, and no more peeping, okay? Damn it. What a killjoy. <laughs> um, so, the disc fax that you could connect to the internet through the phone was mostly used to upload high scores or time trials, but... This yeah. game used it to network uh, people into uh, a place they could receive prizes. Oh, yeah. How? For being good at dating? I don't know, yeah. you huh. 8,000 winners received an autographed phone card. Oh, oh yeah. Who, for those girl, who finished the game. looks like Miho. For those who finished the game with the normal ending. The normal ending, as opposed to the weird ending. <laughs> oh, and then another 8,000 received a special VHS tape. Those got the best ending. Oh! That's wait, what crazy. was the other prize? What? What was the first prize? Uh, autographed phone card. Uh, oh, yeah, I'd rather have the VHS tape. That's actually really cool. So you'd like, if you beat the game, you phone in and get a prize. <laughs> Nuts. I love that. This guy looks like he's just a head on a table. He looks and then like there's he's just, just sad, yeah. A, there's just a headless torso in the background as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's my dad! Or, oh. oh, it's my mother! He looks like a bum. She's just... She got a cool cigarette. It was alright. Anyway, when's dinner? <laughs> Sitting at the table is your big brother. Oh, he's our big brother. He's oh. a professional cameraman. Oh. But he'll take any kind of work. Yeah, it looks like a bum. Hey, you got a call from a chick. You're already messing around, you player. You player? Here's the number. Wow. Wait, who? Call this! <laughs> so, I guess these, um... The game also contains a phone number which players could call to hear hints concerning the gameplay or listen to a personal message oh. voiced by Miho Nakayama herself. I wonder what she'd be telling us right now. This phone service ended at, shortly after the release of the game, and the messages and hints in all subsequent versions are displayed from in text form. Ah, oh, dang. Ah, oh, Mizuho. Ugh, you really are a handful. Oh yeah, so we already have someone calling us. That's cool. But does that call mean she... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, I'll make my moves tomorrow at school. Hehehe. <laughs> I don't like how much of a creep these people are. Yes. Well, I mean, yeah, the girls were right. He's a molester and pervert. Yeah, it's true. Peeping on girls on the first day at his new school. Yeah. Hey, where's Mizuho? She didn't come to school today. I hear this happens often. Maybe she has a weak constitution. Mmm, doesn't sound very fertile. That's not good. Should she catch a cold? Oh well, let's go home. Oh man, the second day of school, nothing. Not a single... There's, there's, the girl's not there. <laughs> no, no, there's no girl to talk to. What's the point of telling me what else happened? Yeah. I'm back. Oh, what's wrong? You seem down. Wait, yeah, so you little... never see your mother's face? It's like Charlie Brown? I guess not. It's like, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Man, yeah, that's the sound. Oh, uh, we got another phone number. What's Mizuho got to tell us this time? <laughs> um, it seems like it's different music every time. Yeah, and there was, I guess there's some intricate decision-making um, that was pretty big for... It's time. Interesting. Lots of options. Um, not really any oh, reviews. Oh yeah, I found a photo of a girl liar on the floor. Is it yours? Oh no! Wait, what? <laughs> when do we take my pictures? Found a picture of, of a girl just sitting there. That's weird. But it sold well in Japan, and uh, a reader vote. Gave it uh, 17 out of 25. <laughs> That's huh. a weird <laughs> number. But... Whoa! It's oh, a photo it's... of Miho Nakayama! Oh. The more you look at it, the more she looks like Mizuho. Oh, let's look even closer. It's a photo of Miho Nakayama! Okay, it's the same thing. Okay. It came out, I didn't say this, it came out December 1st, 1987. Wait, oh, it's, it wants me to look at the bunny charm, I see. Holy, Holy bunnies. bunnies! That charm, she wasn't at school today either. Wait, so this girl is Miho? Uh, maybe. She's got the bunny charm in the, her hand. Oh my god, could you even imagine if an idol went to high school with us? Oh man. Holy cow, the next day after school. Oh, fathead, it's still just fathead. <laughs> Mizo Hotel at Takayama, really? The idol Miho Nakayama? Ah, uh, they do rhyme. Uh, go solve this mystery. Oh, great. His face <laughs> is huge as ever. It's still huge. Nothing unusual. What do you mean? These two tiny people watching us? Hey, do you know where Mizuho is? She should be in the music room. Ah, you're a pretty smooth operator, aren't ya? Um, check out this photo. 
It's a real snapshot of me, ho. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Give me. No, fathead, your face is too big for it. Uh, should I give it to him? Let me let me touch him first. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm only so friendly. Okay. Still hasn't gotten any friendly. <laughs> no, no friendly. I think if I keep trying to touch him, eventually he'll be more friendly. Alright, that seems to... They won't let me give him the picture. It's the same as showing him the picture. Mizuho will go home if I don't hurry. Whoa! Hey, no running in the halls! Whoa, he's so sweaty. Hey, who do you think you're talking to? This is serious. What do you think you're doing in the halls? Blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, I'm gonna use the photograph on him. No. Okay. What do we got? He looks nervous. He's probably a real stickler. I don't know if nervous people are often sticklers. Do you want this photograph? No. Okay, let's just move. Hey, wait! I'm not done talking with you! What do you think you're doing in the halls? Blah, blah, blah. What am I supposed to do? Wow, the game had 13 different revisions. Huh. Because I, it sounds like they would just update the phone number. Wow, they just kept putting out... Well, that's crazy. So, I guess there's not even... There's only... Five that have been dumped online. But the only difference is the phone number. It sounds like it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm very... Uh, he says you're going to get punched, and then McKinley redeemed punch Griffin in the face. Oh, no! Boom. Why does it look like that? I don't know what to do. I'll punch him. Uh, that's so rude. Touch. Huh. I'm, I think I've done every option. Um, well, that could be it. Um, Might have to be. I have one more thing I want to watch. Alright. Because, apparently, according to uh, Wikipedia here, it's... It, Games Radar listed the Japanese commercial as one of the best and strangest. Best and strangest. Oh no! Oh, oh. Headphone, headphone. That, I would like to see a strange commercial. Headphone, headphone. What's head, this noise? Head, headphones, headphones. What? 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 What's going on? I'm so confused. I'm coming through an echo. Coming through an echo. Oh. oh okay, that's because my headphone died. It's only gonna be a second until that gets fixed. That's why I kept saying headphones. Kept headphones. I kept thinking you're going, hippo. <laughs> hippo. I just am losing my mind and I'm unable to find the the right settings. As it were. Oh my Lanta. Problem solved. I think. Yep, there we go. Great. All right. That's so weird. I uh, honestly don't understand. I might have, like, soft locked my game. Huh. Yeah. That guy's not to be trifled with. Uh, you can text me if you'd like. The plan. Alright. Now I got it. Let's go here. 
Oh. Whoa, yeah, that's weird. Is that a giant telephone yeah. or a tiny yeah. woman? <laughs> wow. So beautiful. It really is. And there's is. the prizes you can win. Miho goods. Miho goods. <laughs> I love that little mascot. <laughs> totally. The discard <laughs> system guy. That was weird. Just her on a giant phone was pretty weird. And the great head tosses, really. Yeah. I wonder what kind of music she made. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pop, pop star. Yeah, pop idol, but from the eighties. I don't know what J-pop was then. Totally. Um, I don't know if we get flagged for it or not. Probably would. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny. But I love I'll I'll put a link to me. one in the Discord though. Yeah. And then if anyone wants to listen to yeah, one of her songs. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll be right back. We got one more game. It's gonna be a cool, fun beat 'em up. Oh yeah! Stay tuned. It's gonna get crazy.